Hello, this is TFF Live today on Nagasaki Day about how we could perhaps be more productive than just do the commemoration of today. Today, 73 years ago, 60 to 80,000 people died instantly. That together with Hiroshima, of course, is a major, if not the largest example of international terrorism. And at the same time, what we do is to treat it as a museum. People these days see the movies, they see the pictures, they commemorate it, they talk about the Hibaksha, the survivors. But what we need to do is to ask ourselves how destructive are nuclear weapons even when not used, as they have so far not been. Point one, they are definitely very, very dangerous because of technical failures that have happened and human failures, including people who drink in command systems and centrals. Secondly, they force you and me and millions of people to live in fear. The question is whether we will accept it or we deny it, but we must be fearful of what would happen. Next, they are definitely not compatible with democracy, and there has never been a referendum made in any of the countries that have nuclear weapons whether people would like to be defended by them they violate international law by just being possessed and they go totally against the Charter of the United Nations. So I think it's very important that we have this whole framework brought up to date so that we can talk about how bad they are, how detrimental, how destructive they are for international community and for human life on Earth, even if they are not used. And don't forget, they were used as a pretext for invading and occupying Iraq. And today, God help us all, they are used to harass Iran, which has never had nuclear weapons, in my view, never wanted to have nuclear weapons, and have signed the most important diplomatic deal ever written on this issue to not acquire nuclear weapons. And they are now under threat of war because of nuclear weapons. Imagine there were no nuclear weapons on Earth. And we could live peacefully without fear. We would not violate international law. We would not have two superpowers arrogantly deciding whether to have humanity decide, survive or not. It's time to say no, as I can and everybody else sensible do, but we should use these days not as museums, but as up-to-date political days where we manifest that we do not want them. They must be scrapped as cannibalism, as slavery, as absolute monarchy and everything else we have scrapped in the name of civilization. And we could also talk about all the countries that have decided by law or constitution to never acquire nuclear weapons. They are the civilized ones, the rest are not, and they must go. Thank you very much.